This episode is brought to you by Plan B Promotions. Hello, and welcome to The Voice. I'm your host, Mike Cernieze, and with me today we have Mary Patrick from Dave & Buster's in Vaughan. Mary, thanks for joining us. My pleasure. Our focus on today's show will be the Vaughan Business Achievement Awards. However, first, Mary, tell us about yourself and Dave & Buster's. Well, I'm the events manager at Dave & Buster's. I've been there uh, just about 13 and a half years with our 15-year anniversary coming up this June. We're 65,000 square feet of food and fun, as we like to say, but we're more than that. We're community-based in terms of working with our, our colleagues in the, in the region with charity events, but also hosting, like I said, a lot of different events, be it a birthday party or corporate meetings. We do everything at Dave & Buster's. Now, speaking of hospitality, I must mention that you have most recently won the Lifetime Business Achievement Award for hospitality at last year's 25th anniversary of the BAAs. Now, tell us, what was that experience like for you? Oh, that was over the top amazing. I mean, to be recognized by our peers within the community just gave me such a great sense of pride. We had won the uh, Hospitality Award numerous times, and having done so, I believe it is four times as the, uh, the minimum requirement, then they, were giving, they gave us the Lifetime Achievement Award, which just, again, over the top, beaming with pride, and uh, just want to continue on uh, staying at that level in terms of our relationships with the community, with the business partners, and our, our, um, our guests that come through the building. I also saw you in attendance at this year's BAAs. It was such an incredible event, but tell us, what was your favorite part of the evening? Oh, no doubt the uh, networking event to start the evening off, to be able to get out and shake hands with partners within the community, with our colleagues, our friends, those we respect, and, you know, just to be able to get that, that handshake in. I mean, sure, we have social media to connect with everybody, emails and uh, texting and tweeting, but at the end of the day, there's nothing more important to me than a firm handshake with our business partners within Vaughan, and there are over 600 of them there to uh, be able to see and say hello and reconnect with on a yearly basis. It's just simply amazing to me that Event. I couldn't agree more. Well, we actually have a clip from the evening. Let's hear what some others had to say. I think it's the preeminent networking event in Vaughan. I think it's a, it's a place where you can connect with all your common business owners. All the nominees tonight, they're all great nominees. They're always fantastic. It's really tough to decide who's going to be the winner because they're all great. I am being nominated this evening for Young Entrepreneur of the Year Award and I am absolutely humbled and thrilled to be receiving this nomination. I have founded a foundation called the G. Magnata Foundation for Vector-Borne Diseases with an emphasis on Lyme disease. So I'm really proud tonight to be honored with the Philanthropic Business Person of the Year by the Chamber. It fills me with so much pride and gratitude to win such an award. I've been given all kinds of entrepreneurial awards, but this is really close to my heart. So I'll tell you my first introduction to Kevin Leary. First he said, where's my check? So I had to write him the check. The second introduction he said, your hair's out of place, I don't like your tie, your shoes need to be buffed, and your socks. And I said, my socks? You can't see my socks. That's the best part of your outfit. So the Vaughn Chamber of Commerce is great for every business, especially for networking. I saw and understood its value a long time ago. And I think it's really great to have a body like the Chamber to sort of support businesses, especially ones that are new in the area. And it's encouragement for other businesses that want to come into Vaughn and be part of the business community. That was a lot of fun. I personally enjoy the event every year. Why do you think the event is important to the Vaughn business community? Oh, I think it's critical to the community in order to be able to recognize those businesses that are going above and beyond, be it our charity groups here in the Vaughn area or perhaps our uh, groups that are winning awards for construction services, professional services, or hospitality. But at the end of the day, it is important for the community to come together and recognize those who are the best of the best. Is there a secret to your success with Dave & Buster's? Uh, I believe so. I'm a, I'm a salesperson by nature, although my uh, background is education. Uh, I am a salesperson and I believe that the, what makes me more successful than others or how I am successful is that I believe in the product I'm selling. I think a salesperson who is a salesperson could sell anything, but when you believe in the product, the value that the product has, 
and selling that to the community, I think that's what separates me from others in this role. But I think we've nailed it in terms of a welcoming atmosphere at Dave & Buster's. And of course, you can't go wrong with our menu, which we change on a bi-monthly basis. We're constantly introducing new items. So you've got to come out and taste test Dave & Buster's, but also test run some of the games in our midway, and you'll be simply amazed. I can personally attest to you all of that. I love the games. I love the menu. What's next for Dave & Buster's? Well, does this stay between you and I? Absolutely. Okay. Well, I'll let you and a few of your friends know that Dave & Buster's is going to be opening our second location in Canada in the Oakville, Mississauga area next February. Wow. And after that, we have two more stores slated, perhaps for the downtown region and maybe even the East End. But you'll have to wait to hear more information about those ones. That's great news. We feel privileged for you sharing that with us. <laughs> Mary, thank you for coming on the show. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. Thank you all for tuning in. We'll see you next time. This episode is brought to you by Planning Promotion.